Welcome back to a survivor's guide to this war of mine. Today we will be covering the music club. This has two variants and we will cover both today, starting with the regularly functioning music club and ending with the destroyed music club. So first of all, if the club is working, you won't need to bring any tools with you as everywhere is open to you. You start off towards the right hand side of this map on top of a multi-story car park. There are a few scavenged spots here with some useful materials, but most of the body of this location is in the building to the left. In the full music club scenario, there will be NPCs wandering around on the ground floor and in the basement club. There is even a trader here with some nice items. You can easily loot any of the piles here as well as trade freely, and it is one of the few locations with people who will not interact with you at all, so that's just a little bit of trivia for you. It is worth noting there that there is also a pile outside of the back door in this scenario and it has some good loot, so make sure you don't miss that one. The caution advised part of this scenario is in the upstairs of this big building. Jumping up from the main entrance allows you to get to more scavenge piles. This is all fine and good on floor 1 and has some good loot, but if you head further up there are occupants there who will tell you to leave. This can make scavenging above quite tricky, but these two inhabits have relatively routine patrols so it is possible to get most of their things without killing them. Just wait for them both to go to the left and then head to the hiding place through the right door. Note that the patrols are quite quick so wait for one of them to leave before trying to pry open the barricaded door further to the right. The same is true for the left bath. If you let one of them be further upstairs and the other one to the right, you can get a good hiding place at the bottom of the ladder come scaffolding thing. Then you can wait for both of them to pass before climbing up and jumping into the next hiding place. As they spend most of their time in the middle two floors, if you get past them, you can scavenge the top floors relatively easily. There are some good items up here so it's worth coming here, and it's worth noting that there is a secondary entrance slash exit to the multi-story car park from the bedroom window, so choose your entrance carefully. Now, for the other scenario where the club has already been destroyed. The top floors are pretty much the same as the scenario already mentioned, with the two men walking around who will yell at you if you get caught and then will start attacking. The main difference is that there are two additional armed men downstairs. They can be quite tricky to get rid of, as there aren't any hiding spots down here. My method that I got to work though was to lure the front guy up to a hiding place on the higher floors with noise and then stab him. The other guy will be waiting by the back door but will always have his back to it, so it's relatively easy to take him out if needed. It is obviously possible to avoid these people but by taking Roman the amount of hiding places makes it actually easier to take them out rather than to actually hide from them completely. And there is minimum morale penalties I believe as these guys are seen as raiders. So there it is, the music club. I hope you have learned something today, or at least have found it useful in some way, shape or form. If you have, then please do like, subscribe and do all those lovely things down below. Please join me next week, where we will be going through the park. Thanks again. See you then. ta -ra.